The Fallout show has created a lot of drama recently and I quite love it. Hi folks, it's me, your favorite Z and welcome to weekly gaming news show where we give updates on all that happened this past week. Before we begin, a huge shout out to all our subscribers, old and new. Your support means a lot to us and our platform is always open for discussions. So let us know about the games you have played this week. Why subscribe to us? It's simple. You will always get a response from us and our platform is always open to free discussions. Leave a like in the video to let us know you would like to see more updates like this. So this week, all the talks been about Fallout lore, especially with the TV show and how it links up with the games. People were bickering about on all the socials, right? Thinking maybe New Vegas was getting the boot. But hey, Todd Howard and Jonathan Nolan, the show creator, cleared the air. They said Sherry Shen's bombs hit right after the New Vegas events. So it's all legit. There was a whole internet meltdown. But now it seems like maybe folks are cool with it. Are they? I don't know. Anyways, I wrapped up the show and honestly, I had a blast. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10 maybe, you know, solid stuff. I'm intrigued to see what they come up with next. Another interesting perspective was from Tim Kane, the mastermind behind the original Fallout games. He's got a YouTube channel where he dishes out his takes on the show. He's talking about how the Fallout series has a history of unreliable narrators, just like any other Bethesda game. And he's not just making excuses for writing slip-ups. He reckons it could actually be a cool angle for the future. Of course, every article or video I talk about will be linked in the description. So I've got some bad news for Fallout fans. You may need to wait for another 10 years for a mainline entry in the series. And it would not surprise anyone if we get the teaser for the next game on the 10th anniversary of Fallout 4. And then the actual game years after that. It's not looking good is what I'm trying to say. Do you think they should go the New Vegas route again? and hand the IP to someone for a spin-off. As you may know, Todd Howard dropped some truth bombs. He basically said, don't hold your breath for a new Fallout game anytime soon. He has learned from past clip-ups and doesn't want to make any promises he can't keep for things like release dates and such. Todd and his sweet little lies. Because right now, the Bethesda crew is all hands on deck for the next Elder Scrolls game. That's where all the magic's happening in the development. Personally, I feel bad and why does Bethesda still act like a small team anyway? Also Fallout London, the massive fan project as you know has been delayed. Anyways, Todd dropped a hint about Starfield too. He mentioned they're knee deep in Starfield work and teased that some things in the pipeline to be announced soon. Could it be a big reveal for the Starfield DLC, Shattered Space or something else entirely? Who knows, but for all you Starfield fans out there, it looks like you might be getting your fix sooner than you think. Speaking about updates, let's talk about the PS5 Pro specification leak. The Verge is back at it again, they're reporting that Sony's PS5 Pro is real and developers are gearing up for it. But you know all this stuff is still coming up from unnamed sources so I don't know. I'm looking forward to it as everyone else. The word on the street is that Sony is really cracking up the whip on developers to cook up optimized versions for PS5 Pro. The GPU for the PS5 Pro is supposedly gonna be a whooping 45% faster a special graphics mode that only the PS5 Pro can handle, focusing on cracking up the resolution and ray tracing. Sounds like they're really gunning for some serious eye candy. Oh yeah, on the resolution front, word has it that Sony's cooking up their own version of Nvidia's DLSS or AMD's FSR. It's like they're gearing up to bring some serious upscale magic to the table. But here's the real question, what do Sony fans think? You've got some Sony's own first party games that still feel like they're just scratching the surface of what the PS5 can do. Moving on, Warhorse announced the sequel to their much beloved Kingdom Come Deliverance and they're continuing Henry's story. We got a big and to be honest pretty kickass trailer. Storytelling wise, visually there's just a lot more going on here and just a lot more variety in terms of types of characters and just things they're covering in this world. Little glimpses, little snippets of gameplay. I loved the first game and I'm very curious to see how this is going to go down. Next bit of news is about No Rest for the Wicked, which just dropped in early access. I'm currently playing it as we speak, still a little early for me to judge. It's gorgeous and it's very Diablo-like with a little bit of Souls-like elements but you die really quickly. Also we just got the latest Frostpunk 2 video. A gameplay deep dive revealing more about the game and what players will be up to. What's cool is the developers explained that while the first game was all about surviving the cold and end of the world, 
Now in the sequel, that's sort of sorted out, right? So it's shifted focus to more societal challenges. And with that, we come to the end of the video. Thank you for sticking around. Let me know what I missed. See you soon. Thank you very much.